you're going the wrong way. This is VIP. This is not for us. VIP means very important persons, and we're very important persons to God. So come on, girls. Let's go. So this is week one. For week one, we are going over honor others by giving them a chance. The scriptures for this week is 1 Samuel chapter 17. Do you hey. know what that's about? Yeah, I think I do. That's the story about David versus Goliath. Goliath? Is that the right the right from Six Flags? Oh, well, no. This is the real Goliath, the mighty warrior. But David went up against him, just armed with a slingshot. But with God's help, he defeated him. Wow, I really want to read up on this story. And I know that this chapter is really long, but just, it's a very interesting story and it's really exciting. So read up, and if you record yourself reading this chapter or any of the verses that we are doing for this month, send us a video so we can give you credit for it too. See you next time. Bye. Breaking news, everybody. There's something happening here at Trinity Kids headquarters. I'm here with the team members of Trinity Kids. They're saying something crazy radical. They started something about VIP. Let's get a second opinion. Um, are you the one that started this VIP thing? I didn't really start it, but uh, the Bible says that God does not make exception of a person. God loves each one of us and he honors everyone. So we're all VIP. Wow, this is so good. Apparently, everybody is VIP. And she's saying something about honor is for everybody. Spread the news, guys. Let's do this. Hi, Mom. Hi. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Watch our videos. Something I want to ask you, please. Uh, I'm worried about your brothers. They're in the battlefield. Uh, can you take these big maps for them, please, and, and tell them that I miss them and I hope to see them soon. Okay, son? Big maps. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're on special. I'm gonna go. Bye. Oh man, I'm getting hungry. <sighs> I really should have taken an Uber. you guys got? Come on, look at these muscles. I'm Goliath. You guys are so short and puny. You guys smell funny. You guys probably play Xbox, right? Yeah, no. PS4 is so much better. You guys got to do better than that. I can't believe that King Saul was the only one that believed that I could fight Goliath. 
I know God is on my side and I'm gonna do this. But first, this is all gotta go. Way too heavy. Ah, I got my slate. Let's do this. Who are you, short stack? What are you calling short stack? Israel, is this the best you got? Really? This? It's going to take a lot more than that to bring Goliath down. God sent me here to fight you. He's been with me this entire time, and I'm bringing you down. What, with that? What, am I some kind of puppy dog? You're going to throw rocks at me? Oh, real scared. <laughs> with God's help. David was honored because he was given a chance. Hey guys, it's Lex and Monique, and we're doing Science with Lex and Monique. Today we have a really fun experiment for you guys. We are going to be inflating a balloon without blowing it up ourselves. So we only need three things. You'll need a glass bottle that the balloon can fit around. You'll need baking soda and vinegar. So what you're going to do, Monique, is you're going to put one teaspoon in, or two teaspoons in this uh, jar. Okay, here we go. One. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll do a little less. Two. That's good. <laughs> Perfect. Now, we are going to pour one third cup of vinegar into our balloon. Ready? You hold the balloon open. Oh. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And we're just gonna spill it all over the table. That's normal, science happens. going to carefully insert the opening of the balloon around the opening of our vase and we're gonna quickly Friendship is you combine two different things and you make something beautiful. Bye guys, That's see you next time. Science with Monique and Lex. Oh, I, I, I can tell. Uh, uh, oh, I can no, tell. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I don't need the map right now. Oh. Let's, let's just continue. It looked like Australia. I want to see kangaroos. Where are we? Japan? You guys are here with me. Well, since we're in Japan and not Australia, I got a couple of fun facts for you while we're here. Did you know that Japan is the most geographical active area, uh, generally surrounded by mountains? Most of those mountains are actually volcanoes. So it can get hot at any second. You just always got to prepare. And did you know that the Japanese name for Japan itself is either Nihon or Nippon? which means either sun origin or the rising sun. That's why they say the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Well, that's pretty much all I got. Oh. Got Japanese yen. I can take a cab out of here. We'll see you guys next week. I'd say we go to the Sahara Desert. Should be fun. Gotta bring a lot of water. See you guys. 
Hi Trinity Kids! Welcome back to DIY Sam for season two. We're in Japan today. Let's get started with our craft. This is our craft for today. What you're gonna need is a brown construction paper or a regular white piece of paper, half of a white piece of paper, a black marker, a gray marker, and a gray colored pencil, some scissors, and glue. Let's go ahead and get started. So we learned about David and Goliath. So we're gonna be making David's bag of stone. So let's begin by making our bag. Make sure it's nice and round. And it peeks a little bit at the top. I'm gonna do a mini circle. make our stones. Our stones are going to be made on the white piece of paper with the gray marker. I did ovals and they don't have to be perfect because they're stones. I'm going to make five and you're going to color it in with a light color pencil, gray color pencil. So you're going to go ahead and do that. And when you're ready and finish, you're going to cut them out. And they're going to look something like this. So once you have your five stones, you're going to find your placement on the paper and glue them down. So go ahead and do that. Remember not to use too much glue. And once you have all of your stones, down. We're going to use our black marker to write inside. So some of the words that I got from the story that we learned today is honor, which is our topic. Goliath had to, David had to have faith in God to take down Goliath. <laughs> I think he was very brave. So I put bravery. He was very strong. You have to have hope. So this is our craft for today. And on the top, we're gonna write honor others by giving them. Right, this is our craft. Have fun! Bye! Now that you've finished your craft and you worked so hard and you did such a good job, I would love to see the work you did. Have your grown up send it to the link below and maybe you can be featured in one of our DIY sales. See you next time!
Thank you.